Oh, it's a bed. I thought it was a massive yellow f lemon fruit lozenge or some such thing. Hello, Harry Potter, I, I suppose. I probably should have looked at what the controls for this game were. It, oh, all right. Anyway, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to something called Into, um, Into the Woods. Whose readme said something about burying birds because they fly through the dirt. Because apparently Ichio just can't be normal or something. Anyway. Let us see what we have got here. There is no need to enter this door right now. Oh, all right then. I'm, I'm glad to see you're very utilitarian. No wasting of time. This kid's going to go places, I can tell. Not through this door. He's not going to go to that place. But he's going to go to other places, like the top of the corporate ladder, for example. Right, can I go down the stairs? Yes, I can. Ooh, very cinematic. Very cinematic. I'm glad to see that I am so hyper-focused on going down the stairs correctly that I completely forget about everything else in the world, as if they didn't even exist. Can I go outside? At least I think this is the front door. We can hear some rain outside. Are we going to go into the woods? Probably. <gasps> we have a little allotment! How exciting! Constant rain has saturated the soil with a thin layer of water running along its surface. The plants look like they're drowning. You're very well articulated for a boy with no mouth. Can I get on my bicycle? I assume I'm not going to drive the station wagon. Can I get on the bike and go somewhere? You need a tool that can be used to dig a hole before you can proceed any further. Oh, okay. <laughs> I presume I'm not just going to hightail it out of here in the car. The old card is taking up the entire driveway. Okay, do I have a sprint? Yes, I do. I have a real little scamper on me. Okay, can I have this spade as a tool? And then the game can crash. Oh, goodness. Will you take the rusty shuffle? My word, I love the setup of this game. Yes, yes, I will take the rusty shuffle. I don't know what I want it for. Am I going to bury some bodies? How thrilling. Glad to see I've got some hobbies. Right ho, can I go now? Yes. I can climb aboard my racing bicycle and go and Well, presumably bury some birds, actually, rather than burying some bodies. I'm glad I can ride the bicycle with some you know, I've got the, the skills to ride the bicycle without actually holding onto the handle. I see people doing that in the street and I'm uh, always slightly confused about how they don't die. What's that little red thing? Can you see that? Oh it's probably another one of these little posts, isn't it? Sorry, I was getting all confused with something mysterious going on. I like the camera angles. Okay, I like the camera angles more before they maybe run into a fen uh, run into a street lamp and break all my teeth. Hopefully, uh, twice even. Hopefully, I'm still young enough that my adult teeth haven't come through yet, and I shan't need to spend thousands of dollars on braces. Right, ooh, into the woods we go. I didn't even realise the woods were a solid object at the, start at the beginning. I haven't got any shoes on, for goodness sake. I haven't even planned this murder spree very well, have I? Right. Through the valley I go, through the cleft. Through the small, minute gap. Between nature's long shafts I travel. Kitty, oh, this is a long pathway. Okay, is this some sort of a cave or something? Oh, now we're in first person. Oh, no, we're not. This is another cinematic one. I'm going to try John Woods. And, and, and now we're in a volcano, judging by the lighting. Perhaps we're going to develop some Polaroids. Where the hell are we? What, 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 what is this place? Okay, and now we're heading into the world of the vampires, I suppose. The ground suddenly gives way to reveal an expansive forested valley far, far below. In the distance, the black outline of a huge, gnarled tree is silhouetted against a burning orange sunrise. That's kind of gorgeous. In a marginally terrifying way, but still kind of gorgeous. Okay, I suppose we'll keep travelling. We're not here for a date with the vampires, we're here to do something else. Go for a midnight run, it would seem. I mean, I'm not one to usually make such suggestions. Maybe a set of jogging bottoms would have been a good idea. 
rather than one's stripy pyjamas. But, uh, never mind. I, I presume this is to serve some sort of purpose. Okay, so it looks like we've gotten out of the woods. Literally, not proverbially. A mound of compacted earth juts out from the ground like some sort of strange tumour. An ancient decayed shovel has been stabbed into the top. Again, you're extremely articulate. Okay, we seem to have run across some sort of archaeological dig site. Somebody has been digging up a lot of stuff here. I find myself wondering if, um... Yeah, this is the same. I find myself wondering if these are all mine and I'm here to add to my collection for some bizarre reason. Are there more this way? No, 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 there's just more repetitions of the same unskippable subtitles. Getting on. <clears throat> okay, right, let me try. Ah, yes, here we are. There's like a, a darker one over here that doesn't seem to have a spade in it. This is it. Um, okay, what the hell do I do with it? Do I have, like, an inventory? Yes, I do. Can I use my rusty shovel? You shovel. Yes, here we are. Excellent. Success has been achieved. My parents must be very poor from the number of shovels they've had to replace from me stealing them all. But still, I'm going to be a heck of an athlete with all this exercise I'm doing. Goodbye, cruel world! Let me just toss myself into a shallow grave. Or have I taken on the perspective of somebody else? And I'm burying a still half-alive body. It certainly seems to be the case, judging from how dark it's getting. Both literally and figuratively. Oh, look, another storm is brewing. And I don't just mean the storm I'm going to get from my chiropractor when he sees how bad my spine is after listening to all these creaks and cracks of it. Into the woods. Oh. Okay. That's that. And that was freaking weird. <laughs> A short glimpse into a strange occurrence. Developed by leaky fingers. I dread to think what's it, what is leaking out of your fingers, mate. But, well, actually, I suppose if you were typing it through the code, it was probably leaking madness. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, how very bizarre. How very bizarre. Massive tree with, like, the massive roots sticking out. It reminds me of the Gilda Gleam. Oh, and that's that, I suppose. Right. Wow. That was, for, for, for being something that was really small and just a little bit of weirdness, that was a hell of a lot more professional than I would have expected. Um, but I, I don't know what the hell to think of it. What does it say in the reading again? Let me check it again. Yes, bury the birds, they will fly through the dirt. I have no idea. It just says content warning below, and then below that is nothing. Right, never mind. I have no idea what that was. That was weird, but I rather enjoyed it.